use your hands if you were just itching to tell me to stop biting my nails. All of us here today know a small habit which can trigger off something inside that makes you want to burst with irritation. Just the other day, while sharing a pleasant meal with a friend, it suddenly dawned on me what she was eating. However, not from the contents of her plate or her order, but instead the food I could identify rolling around her mouth as she spoke to me. My reaction was extreme. I felt sickened and disgusted by her presence. But suddenly I realised it was her habit which repulsed me, not her. Today in society, we find it so easy to pick holes in others' traits, yet we are oblivious to ourselves. And maybe, just maybe, if we turn that spotlight on ourselves, it will become clear that we aren't that perfect either. This all became clear to me whilst constructing my speech. I asked my friends to write down some general bad habits in society, but instead, the very first point was in fact much more personal. Emily talking too much. <laughs> Harsh, yet so true. I do talk too much, almost so that people have developed a response that I like to call the Churchill nod, replicating the dog in the advert. Oh, yes! I love to think that they were actually interested in what I'm saying, but in fact, they're bored and glazed over, nodding meaninglessly. Sorry, but you have that very look on your face right now. <laughs> this insight to myself made me wonder if what psychologists say is in fact true, that the things that irritate us the most are in fact our deepest, darkest traits. Can I honestly say I've never spoken with my mouth full, considering how I talk so much? So I believe that we need to stop this instant judgment and criticism of others and instead become aware of ourselves. And will doing this make a difference today? Oh, yes.